What is up, guys? Speed Doubles back here with a brand new video, and today we're gonna get back on Classless WoW. It's been a bit. We just got done playing uh, some of that brand new, you know, 22 total races, I think, if you include the sub races or 21, something like that, on Azeroth at War. That was pretty sick. Uh, I might still show more of that in the coming days. I've been super busy. I did want to get back on Classless WoW, though. Check out the Mana Storms, progress on a new character, as you can see, get to 60, and see what we get rolling random abilities all along the way. Can we progress significantly today in the Mana Storm? I would like to. Maybe 50 levels? That wouldn't be too bad. Hope we can do it. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's jump right in. Okay guys, so starting off exactly where I was at the end of my last video, and I told you guys we're gonna be going for a new build. I'd like to go over 100, uh, we already are over 100, but I wanna go to like maybe 200, 3, I don't even know. I'd like to be on the leaderboard though. I did look it up actually at the end of my last video, I read some of your comments as well, and apparently there are people who have made it to 3 or 400 or something like that. I'll just put it up on the screen right now, whatever the most uh, up-to-date leaderboard is for Mana Storm Solo specifically, and uh, it is kind of nutty. We obviously have less time on our hands nowadays. However, I am going to push and we're going to start off by, you know, prestiging. So let's just go ahead and do that and pick a build. Okay, guys, I don't really know. I'm kind of stumped, but I'm going to try this. We have the arcane power from the last video, 15% more magic damage, always good. I'm going to go with the twisted mind. I get more spell power for free passively, 3% hit, which cannot suck and a downside that really isn't that deep. I'm going to go for the winter fall fire breath. This is really what I wanted to build around. It is a cone of fire damage that does more fire damage over time and slows enemies by 30% and I'm going to compound this with the shadow flame for even more shadow flame damage including fire with that right so I can go full on fire uh, and more damage over time when it comes to my talent cards fire damage fire damage bonus damage when I crit more spell damage echoed incinerate I don't know I'm not really like too happy about this one but if we get the incinerate and all that jazz it could actually not suck I just don't have that many golden ones right and we have ardent defender so we have a chance to just not die if we would have died and that could be sick <laughs> 15 minutes later. Okay, here we go. Finally, it took like 20 minutes, but I have Summon Amp, I have Fireball, Summoner's Armor, and Fire Blast. The Summoner's Armor is pretty interesting. It's 2% more crit and 3% more spell damage done. Uh, I like that. Fireball and Fire Blast is so I can actually do some single target. As you know, I'm going to go for a DPS build in this video. I told you at the end of my last one. I've been going for tank builds, but I'd like to actually kill the bosses way faster. And so we'll see if we can maybe pyro it up, hot streak it up, stuff like that. Keep abilities. All right, guys, let's roll the dice. Uh, yeah, I want to reveal a new spell. What do we get? Come on, please. Something good? Oh, it's my twisted mind. Of course that's good. And we get firepower. So we're just going to get all the normal stuff right now that we started with. Oh, except for this, corruption. You know what? It's fine for single target. We could use that, I guess. Okay, here we go. Level 15. We could do the mana storms. So and what do we get? Slow fall. Okay, completely useless. Nice. What else do we get? And enlightenment. That's not too bad. 2% spell haste and 2% intellect. Nice. What is that? Out for blood. Stop. Stuff with stuff I don't have does things I don't have. Okay, and I think this is the last one. Frost sh Shatter, increase the critical strike chance of mage spells on frozen targets. If we get a way to freeze people, that's actually usable. Okay, so I don't get Winterfall Fire Breath or Shadow Flame until a much higher level. Obviously, if I'm just single targeting every day of the week uh, with over 100 Mana Storm, I'm, I'm probably gonna die, right? So let's just go to a lower one. I'm just gonna grind some stuff out till the build gets better, and we'll see what we get along the way. Okay, guys, let's do some rolls. Level 29, we should be getting the winter fall fire breath thing soon at the end of all of this crusader strike useless elemental fury we've already got that it doesn't stack with what we've got okay i've got four things in a row so far that aren't usable will we get lucky now wow i just got an upgrade oh well hey theoretically this is actually usable incineration three percent more crit with fire blast that's actually good ember storm finally for three percent more fire damage unholy light heal my target for 31 shadow healing well at least i have a heal now that's a really really weird one though. master demonologist Holy crap, that's so lucky. I literally went with Imp because I thought to myself, I might get this. 4% fire damage and 4% fire crit. That's a high roll too with a 4 out of 5. That's actually good. Rage fire cleave. What? Uh, I mean, maybe we could go hybrid at some point, but for now it's not usable. Grim reach. Increase the range of my damaging spells by 4 yards. So fireball's 34. I could have sworn it would have been more than that. It's 30 baseline. Uh, but there we go. Winterfall fire breath. Finally. So this should make everything a lot easier now. Absolutely. This is what it looks like. 
which is actually a sick visual, not gonna lie. Uh, 2% stam. So let's just see what the damage looks like with this right now with the Winterfall Fire Breath. I really, really like this. Once again, the visual is so sick on it. It's definitely slow right now. Uh, I, I really miss being a tank and having a lot of AoE, but I'm hoping it's all going to, you know, kind of come as a reward to me when I'm done building this guy up and, you know, making a real DPS fire guy that hopefully slaps. Let's see. So I do that. That's actually not bad damage wise. And we can just keep doing like this. You can see stuff does die pretty fast from the single target damage. Unless you miss, you know? We can Winterfall Fire Breath. That dies. Okay, Surgeon Stitched Flesh. Let's just go ahead and put up all the dots. Go for the Corruption. Throw the bomb we got in the last video just for more damage. And, uh, it cut. He is going to take a lot before he dies. A lot. See, really what I'm kind of leaning on right now is the concept that the Endless Menastorm Potion is pretty much OP. I feel like it, like, kind of makes it super easy to do this. So then I say, like, is there any point of me being a tank at a certain level, right? Maybe not. And that's what we're trying to find out. And dead. There we go. What do we get? Man, I thought I was gonna get some kind of, like, volcano thing. Flurry, which is doo-doo, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew. Uh, Unholy Power, which is, theoretically... I'm looking for imp on here. Yep, it's more imp damage. Okay. Okay, this one should be a lot better. Uh, it's basically just a boss, so we can go ahead and do like that. Everybody's taking big damage. We're getting Mystic Scrolls, which are not, you know, for anything that we're going to be playing anytime soon, but we're getting them. Okay, so I guess we made it through that. Okay, that one's done. Okay, do we get anything good? Come on, please. Oh, what is that? Temporal Rift. Create a rift. It explodes after four seconds, doing arcane damage to everybody and has three charges. Really? Okay, let's take a risk and see if that's actually good. We also get sniper training. Look, <laughs> I can't even, dude. Okay, if I pull this and I do all these rifts... Does anything happen? I don't even think anything happened, dude. Okay, I do feel like this needs a bigger visual, right? Like, if I put this here, you can barely see what's supposed to blow up. And it looks like they would have been working, but it's such a tiny AoE. I don't even know if that's worth using. I guess I'll keep it on my bar, but yeah. Two days later. Okay, guys, it's been a... Where are there boxes here, bro? Anyway, it's been a journey so far, guys. A massive amount of the stuff that I've gotten has just not been, like, that good. However, uh, we might just get lucky still. I mean, it could theoretically happen. Now, I did actually end up getting the Arcane Explosion, so this is actually probably my best spell, sad to say. Dude, I keep getting this one Mana Storm. We're gonna go again. We're gonna see if maybe we could start exactly where we were at level 111 and uh, i'm just gonna keep on running you know one thing i really liked about a tank is i could just pull so many mobs and just keep on running obviously when i'm not playing a tank it's a lot less like that but i can you know do the breath and they're going slower and i can just keep running and we can try we could try okay and we will interrupt that we can explosion breath shadow flame our explosion again. Keep on running. I feel like the pot got nerfed, but it didn't, right? I just have so little HP that as things begin to scale harder on me, because I have so little HP, I am just taking more damage and healing for less. So what if I did this little arcane thingy again? Like, <laughs> like is it that? Oh, it's doing damage! Oh! Oh, I just realized the real applicability of this shit spell. Like, temporal rift feels bad until you realize... Like, as you kite- Oops, that's the wrong way. Oh, shit. As you kite and run away, the dudes behind you- Look, they took damage. So I want to kill all this stuff first before I pull the boss. Let's just do one of those into a shadow flame. I'll just- Oh, shit! I'm almost dead! Oh, my God! Oh, my- Oh, the Ardent Defender! The Ardent Defender, brother! Holy shit! I don't want to die. Like, I, I genuinely don't want to die, bro. I would do anything to not die. Oh, wait, I forgot. One, two, two, three temporal rifts. Okay, uh, stuff's just literally ganking me at this point. We have to pick up the hearts. Actually, the hearts... Oh, no, the boss! But the hearts have so much more value, and I'm not a tank. Like, you guys are like, pick up the hearts, McDoubles. I knew they were there. I just didn't care. I, I didn't take any damage, bros. Uh, let's arcane power. And, like, temporal rift three times. And hopefully they get the spell damage from that. Boom, bam, boom. D no damage! It's like they just all did not take it right there. Uh, but you can see what the strategy is and, like, what I have to do to succeed. I am still alive. I guess that says something. Okay, now it's just me and Justicar Keltrisa. So, okay, we put up all the dots, including the corruption. We temporal rift three times into a bomb. I'm just gonna go for... Oh, shit, I'm actually about to die. <laughs> I'm actually about to die, dude. 
Like, she's actually slapping me right now. And the fireball right here. And there we go. Okay. Hopefully, the build, even though we're level 50 and it's like, you know, squishy, will be able to get us to 115. What do we get? Is it usable? More often than not, it's not usable. Oh, hammer of justice. Well, that is actually usable. So, you know what? I ate my words. You know what they always say? If you complain, your RNG actually gets better. That's why I do it so much. Let's just re-roll that. All right. What are we going to get right here? Rapid shatter. I don't have frostbolt, bro. Okay. How do we do? What's in here? Not that much. Okay, popping everything. Three temporal rifts. Oh, shit. Oh, a lot of things died, actually. Holy crap. A lot of things died. Oh, oh, but that's big damage. That is huge damage. Oh, God. Okay, I still won, but you can see how squishy I am, dude. Hella squishy. What else do I get? Come on, something usable. All I want for Christmas is not more. Oh, mo. I don't think it's usable. I think I was right with my first reaction, but I started to see something that appeared usable slightly. I got excited. What does it say? When I, oh, shit, I don't have does stuff with shit I don't have. Never lucky, bro. The bosses today feel a little bit easier than the bosses yesterday. I don't know what that means, but I know it's true. What if I just horn all these guys so I can, uh, you know, kind of like, uh-oh, slowed? Shit. Slowed this time? Shadow Flame? Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's get all the hearts and get pulled back. Stun you just because I can. Get some more hearts down here because I can. Go for that. That. As they come around the corner, that. That. Oh, my goodness. It feels so good. It really does. Fire Blast. And bam. Okay, I will take that. That actually worked out. Okay, so I'm going to go for the fireball on this guy and just pull him back. This guy has way more HP than the last guy. Oh, I crit him for 1,100. See, remember, that was the original plan, guys. Like, the whole reason I want to go DPS is not for the AoE because the tank just does it better in many ways. It was literally for the single target capability. Basically, what it means is that every time I played this on my tank, I would run through the whole thing pretty much without trying to a point where it was boring. And then I would make it to the boss and I just took freaking 10 minutes to kill the boss, bro. It was so slow. So we're trying to do better now, right? Okay, I can heal too with Unholy Light. I don't think I've used this yet, but it's just Holy Light, but Shadow, I guess. Uh, I'll take it. It's uh, doing me well. I have so much mana. Okay, there we go. We did finally kill him. I'll take it. I'll take it. What do we get? We're going to 114 and uh, hey, oh, oh my God, that, that's a cast time, not a channel. So let's see if this works uh, in a good way. And what does that mean? Well, does it do good damage? Is it worth clicking? I guess we'll find out. You can definitely miss more with the rift. I have to plan a little bit more for the rift than I thought I was going to have to. These guys are just slapping so hard, dude. So hard. Okay, there's a greedy demon. Can I kill him quick? Like super hecka mega quick? Could we got him? I think I got him, guys. Temporal. Wait, where'd he go? Okay, he died right there. I'll pick it up in a moment. Let's just kill the vicious fallout, which is actually surprisingly easy right now. Like, look at this. The boss difference is crazy between levels. All right, what do we get? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all the purples. This is actually like one of the most fun parts. I just don't get them enough, man. I think I've had two greedy demons ever. I don't like that it TP'd me right after though, because I could have not looted everything, but I did get a dead man's hand. I don't actually have a second ring yet, so that's actually pretty good to freeze people that attack me. Uh, I don't think I got... Oh, I got a freezing band too. Holy crap. When struck in combat once again, I can do some damage, but this one gives me spell power way better than the one I had before. Honestly, it's kind of sad because like Cyclopean band, it's just more stats. I am going to actually replace the dead man's hand with it. I've noticed like I am squishy, but I would much prefer the extra damage right now. All right, let's just keep going, guys. I'm just going to keep on running through here. Keep using arcane explosion. Do like that. Oh god. That's way more damage than I thought. Uh-oh. Oh god. I got a heart. I got a heart. I actually got a heart, and it was clutch slow these guys. These guys were doing way more damage than before. I really didn't think they would do any damage at all. How much damage do we think uh, we're going to get from 386? That's not too bad. It's actually pretty good if we can get a slow on that too, like a regular blizzard. That could be sick. Look at these tornadoes. They made them extremely small. I was wondering where they were and like how they were. Oh my god, I almost died. What the heck? What do we get? Ruin. Uh, I've already got that type of effect, bro. Okay, Mr. Smite. Do you have any power going for you right now? Blizzard, one of those, one of these. Okay, I'm slowed because it's a little different on Ascension. Stun that guy real quick. Let's just go for the fireball. Wow, look at the crits with the fireball. Now you're making me angry. Could care less, my friend, could care less. Oh, he's not taking any damage when he runs back like that. That's interesting. 
I guess it makes sense though. Okay, there we go, guys. We did it. 115. 35 more to go, at least for this video. But what do we get? Ooh, is that oh my god, really? Was that usable? Returns you to your active temporal anomaly. No way. Isn't that this? Nope. No, I don't think that's what that is. When you know this spell, casting blink leaves behind a temporal. Aw, oh, man. Okay, what else do we get? Is that stone skin? No, it's just rage. Actually, stone skin would have been better. I, I don't think I would have said that very often in my life, but for once, I wish that was actually a stone skin totem. Okay, guys, level 55. Do we get anything good going into Skolomance, apparently? Nah, consecrated strikes. Damn it, man. Yeah, if you don't know, that's unusable. Okay, instructor militia. Can I not die if I pull everything? I guess we'll find out real quick, right? Go for the breath. I do feel like I'm definitely getting stronger, which makes sense, I guess. I am leveling up, right? Freaking tornadoes, dude. All right, interrupted with my new item from the last video. Use the breath. Go for the corruption. Just pop this. Shadow flame. Get all of these anomalies out. Fire blast. Interrupted. Easy mode. Breath once again. I'll take it. And there we go. Uh, yeah, level 56, by the way. Let's see what we get. Scorched Earth. Uh, theoretically usable, but I don't know if I'm going to be PvPing on this spec. But I can basically move while casting Scorch with that. What else do I get? And Inner Light. Okay, I don't have any of that. Would have been nice on my tank character, though. All right, guys. 118. And we are in Library, I think, right now? Yeah, okay. This could be scary. There's a big inclination for me here to want to pull big. Oh, these guys are doing big damage, though. Let's just go for that. Because they just interrupted me. Oh, I can't Shadow Flame. That was a long, long interrupt. That's a healing wave that I don't want to get off. Okay, nice. Oh, crap. Slowed? Uh-oh. Interrupted? Oh, he was immune to the interrupt. What the hell? Oh my god, no! It's actually kind of tough sometimes to figure out the best button to press. And I'll be honest, I think that adds to the fun of it. Dude, I cannot believe the random scaling on these bosses, man. Like, okay, that was a bad interrupt if that guy's dead. But look at this dude's HP. 6,100, bro. 6,100. And he silences me. Hello? That's- so Oh, crap. Okay, that didn't do any damage like I thought it might. But dude, 6,100 HP is so low. All right, that should not hit me if I'm over here, right? Like, I won't lie, his damage is high. If he had more HP, it might not be a fun fight. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's why they did it. I feel like he just has randomly low HP. What do we get, bro? Level 57. Do we get something good? Oh, yes! Something usable! My critical strikes, bro, from fire. I can read. I know what it is, but come on, pop back up. You're ruining my moment when you zip me to the next one so fast. Four out of five. What a high roll, dude. So in, in other words, as I critically strike from my direct fire damage spells, like the fire blast, like the fireball, good for single target, I do 24% of the spells damage over time, and they take less healing, and that could actually be good for some bosses. That is actually amazing. That's the best roll I've gotten in 30, maybe Maybe even 35 levels. Uh, I'm super happy about that, dude. It's like super duper happy. One more, by the way. Just one more, and we get another save at 120. Okay, we did it, guys. Arage was actually pretty easy. Level 58. Do we get something good? Two more levels to go, and I think this is actually worth continuing with this specific build, right? And getting uh, 30 more, hopefully, Menestorm levels with it. We get Distracting Shot, because never lucky. What else do we get? And we get a Warrior ability. Hack and Slash, actually, from Rogue. Nice. Okay, guys, level 60. We made it, and uh, what am I going going to get at the very end of the run whoa wait we don't have chaos oh it's an ability pure chaos bolt really right in the middle of it is that real have you guys been crashing as much as me like i'm literally crashing all the time okay apparently i just got anguish but we know what i just got before that and i still have it thank god i was about to be pissed i mean i was i was about to be pissed bro like i really thought they were about to take this away from me because of that crash so let's continue it goes through everything and it does big damage on a really short cast i don't know why they call it pure chaos bolt but it's not what you would expect but like what kind of oh god they knocked me down what kind of damage does it do so i'll set them up for it here it's really fast oh, oh that hits hard that's actually almost worthy of PvP. But hey, we reached level 60. We can do a bunch of rerolls soon, guys. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can uh, Chaos Bolt this uh, Raging Agamagar. 16, 62, no crit. I mean, honestly, it doesn't... Oh, wait. I have to rank it up, maybe? To have ranks? Oh, it says rank one, but there's no ranks. They must have added ranks for, like, uh, you know, getting to 70 and stuff later on. It's theoretically not that much stronger base damage-wise than Fireball, but it is a faster cast. It is also simultaneously, obviously, piercing through everything. I won't lie, the Blizzard is a lot harder to make use of than I'd like it to be. I mean, you do just cast it, but 
I don't really want to take too many hits. I feel like I have to stay really, really close to mobs. So I won't lie to you guys. Deconstruct is actually a really cool card to get. I kind of want to make a build out of that. It's just free arcane damage. It costs rage. And uh, apparently I stack up Sunder Armor and I get Deconstruction for doing that, which gives me more spell power, making this a really cool ability to make some kind of hybrid with. So I'm basically just doing some uh, sealed card pack openings before I continue. Molten Armor is not too bad, for example. Just seeing if I get anything that wows me, anything that I feel like I'm gonna wanna make a build with in a future video, you know what I mean? That's actually gonna make me want to play Pummel. I mean, it's okay, it's so easy to get an interrupt though. Uh, Starburst, that's actually pretty cool, it's crazy AoE. Okay, and Serpent Strike, okay, I need cat form for that, but, uh, okay, talent card packs, what do we get? Bundle of Shurikens. Boomer, dude! Oh, man, I wish I had Boomer right now. So, I will say, like, once again, you do get way more epics and stuff like that, but they kind of had to do this. Uh, but Genesis, 8% more periodic damage for Druid spells. Not too bad, I guess. So not too bad, but I got a bunch of rerolls, and I'm just gonna go through them real quick and see if we get anything good. So I did get some pretty good things. Uh, this is not all I got, but just some things to keep in mind. I did get an upgrade for 10% total fire damage, and I also got 3% hit and 3% haste on a high roll with the death's grasp, which is pretty good as well. I then got a legendary enchant that was actually usable for me. When I fireball, um, basically I get a buff called flame on, which increases the crit of my fire blast. Not too bad, and it also increases is their damage, so I know as I fireball, I'm gonna have a bigger fire blast for those bosses, and I get five more yards on the range of fire blast. Not too bad. Okay, so I bought some goodies to make the Meta Storms a bit easier. I got this long haul liquid to increase my maximum health by 400 for two hours, usable in the Meta Storms right, and as a result, I will not hopefully die as fast as I was dying before. The health is definitely a big deal for me right now. So now, my friends, I've got a tiny ticking time bomb, a interrupt rod, and a long haul liquid container, and honestly, I I think these are some of the best items you can get right now. The ticking time bomb has been the best one, absolutely. The interrupt rod comes in clutch though because I often don't roll proper interrupts. And yeah, lots of bosses need you to interrupt something, so that's pretty good. But yeah, I've died a few times now trying to get to 125. They've added a lot more just random things that spawn when you're in there. And yeah, I just randomly get one shot or a portal opens up and random mobs appear. If we can't do 150 in this video, we're gonna continue it for the next one, man. Like the goal at this point is mana storm progression. You know what, guys? Guys, I don't know if this is the build that we progress to greatness with. I mean, I don't dislike it. I think there's some cool synergies. I just think I'm way too squishy. I kind of want to do a melee build. I know, big surprise from me, right? But no, I mean, hear me out. You know, I did actually get Favor of the Soul Flare but I need hunger for blood, dude. But what's cool about this is that if I were able to use this and maybe go with that route, I know it has a bunch of AOE damage in it and it should just pump, right? I don't know. There's some cool stuff I've gotten here. Um, A lot of it's kind of on the lower end. Like I got Blessing of the Divines. You know what I mean? I got Biting Cold, Battle Mage, woohoo, Boomer. I, I've only had that before I started this run, man. I mean, if I had Shuriken Toss, it wouldn't be unfun to play as Zed. You know, Zed could be kind of fun. It's just something to keep in mind. I am also biased. I'm a melee player uh most people that watch my channel kind of know that uh so we can shadow flame blow everybody up start spamming the arcane explosion get stunned get out of that where did these dudes in the corner come from Bruh. like that's what i'm talking about dude like where did these dudes in the corner even come from man i've got enough dudes in my corner dude like this is the last thing i want to see right now okay that's actually a pretty good roll strike all targets with a fell meteor it has 28 second cooldown it does chaos damage and increases my crit against them by five percent I actually will use it as an instant. It is instant. Oh, wow. It scales with, uh, I'm pretty sure, Chaos Bolt modifiers. So we could go more into that if we want to. Yeah, I did have a few extra rerolls. So I'm just seeing if we get anything usable real quick to make this build a bit more redeemable. Um, I already have like 10 of those rolled so far. And that is not for a caster. And this is my last one. Do we get something usable? Will it be fun and good? Looks like it could be concussion. Ah, uh, damn, dude. Literally cocked with that one. Okay, I do want to try out the Fell Meteor, though. So let's just go for it. Nerubicon. Okay, so Fell Meteor. Bam. And then we do this. And then we do this. Okay, Fell Meteor once again. How much damage? 554. Literally what the tooltip says, actually, which is interesting. Man, call me whatever you want. I like to know what I'm up against when I'm doing this type of stuff. I just don't like random things appearing that have, like, you know, random things going on with them. I know what they're trying to do, trust me. I do get it. Also, they increased the size of the tornado again, bro. That was a freaking tiny tornado the other day. They're a little bit bigger now. But look at this. Like, I don't like that I can't use the bathroom. This happened to me earlier. I was like, oh, I need to go use the bathroom. I couldn't. 
because things kept spawning on me and I kept noticing it. I had a moment where my cat was messing with my crap in the closet, right? You guys know how cats are. I look behind me, that little shit knows that I can't get up. I can see it in her little eyes and I, I couldn't do anything because portals kept spawning. It should not be life or death in that regard. That's just my opinion, but look at this. Like, I, I don't like this, dude. I guess it's because you don't have the tools to fight and you're winging it. So there's a level to it in that regard. Like, I think if I was built for this and I was like, you know, in here with a purpose in that regard, if portals were spawning on me, it wouldn't be a big deal. So I guess those of you that have gotten luckier with your builds probably just don't mind it as much. 4,100 crit. We'll go for that. We'll AOE with the uh, meteor real quick. Don't let you heal. Freaking portal. I hate the portal. Take it out of the game, bro. They won't. It's just, I, I can already tell, like, this was, like, done with a lot of, like, love to it because, like, it has a cool visual and stuff like that. And it actually has, like, proper scripting to it and works. But, oh, I hate it. Maybe it'll grow on us. Maybe it will actually grow on me. These fucking portals, dude. I can't even run around. Random shit won't stop spawning. And it pulled the boss. It takes the enjoyment away, dude. I just want to freaking take one second, man. And I'm interrupted. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Bring him over to this guy. Go for the AoE and start going for a Chaos Bolt. I did actually get Alter Time, which is neat. So if I take big damage here, I'll actually respawn with more uh, health and mana, as you can see. That's not too bad. Okay, so I have been able to get away with interrupting his healing ward because I have the Hammer of Justice, which interrupts the uh, NPCs as well, which isn't too bad, I guess. We can interrupt that one. Damn it, man. A Baron Silver Lane where they spawn me all the way in the back. So one thing I've noticed, guys, I showed you guys the leaderboard at the beginning of the video. And when I first actually recorded that, People were a lot lower on the leaderboards, and then the thing I showed you, I think showed somebody at like 600 or even close to 700, or maybe even in the thousands on the highest end for their total mana storms done. It is a precipitous drop though. If you want to get on the leaderboard, I think you have to get like 392 or something like that on your mana storm. 394 maybe. It was in the 390s if I recall correctly. I won't lie, I am pretty confident that I can do that. Now, it's gonna take time, and time is of the essence nowadays, right? But I think I can. I wonder if maybe the whole goal for me with this season is just to make it on that leaderboard. But regardless, I think given enough time throughout the season, I think we can do it. And I think maybe it's a healthy goal to give myself to just accomplish something, you know? Even if it's only once and you guys see that video and kick me off Insta after that, you know what I mean? Like, I think I'll feel pretty good. So we're on Baron Silver Lane. I'm taking a bunch of damage from random places. I also cannot heal right now because of this curse. I hate this curse so much. Because it's terrifying, right? It affects the potion. But we're going to do this because we have way better single target damage than we've ever had. Oh, I hate this. When they freaking pop up like this, the damage is not right. Like, everything's been buffed, or maybe this Mana Storm level has always been this bad, and I just never knew. But uh, it it's like a hella cancer, bro. All right, this should be it. Fireball to end it all. Oh man, what an anticlimactic moment, right? Fire Blast, dead. Okay, let's move on. So one of the things I'm judging all this by is my speed of clear. My speed is really slow due to the squishiness. My damage is actually not that bad, but I just cannot take a hit for the life of me. I've actually never had this Mana Storm. Um, I'm going to pull a little bit bigger than I normally would. I know this doesn't even seem like a big pull, but it is a little bit bigger than I would normally pull on this particular guy. Uh, and I guess we'll do this. And then I'm just... Oh god! Oh god! Almost died. Almost dead. Almost dead. Stun that guy just in case, I guess. Oh, I went in my little- Oh, this freaking portal. Oh, weird. I bugged it out, I think. Or maybe only the Molten Elemental came out of it. I don't know. What? You just don't know. I think they got rid of the Bone Storm visual. At least I haven't seen it in like forever. And they gave like this little red thing on the ground instead that pulsates. It's way less cool, I would say. Chaos Bolt. Oh my god, they ran to me anyway. I hate the portals, dude. Like, maybe they should only spawn if you're in combat. Like, again, like, I really think the P thing is a really good thing to talk about. Like, let me use the bathroom mid Mana Storm, for God's sakes, without a portal spawning. Dude, another fucking. <laughs> Like, it's actually a flabbergasting moment to me. Whoever, like, whoever freaking, oh my god, I'm so pissed. Like, whoever programmed those portals to spawn every 10 seconds or whatever it is, I hate you right now. Okay, so I don't think I used my potion, so I will try to just push to a 125, but I think what we should do by the end of this video is just try to prep for another build on Doobie, which was my melee character from the very first video of the season. Because this is too tumultuous and too stressful, which means the build can't be right. Like, I could pop the potion, I have 400 more health, I have to kill the Magister. Um, can I skip these mobs? Nope, why did I even think it? The breath is the most fun part, but I have to admit, what makes the breath so fun 
is because whoever made the visual is like a freaking master of visuals. Like that's pretty much what makes the breadth of uh, the firefall breath thing fun. Let's pull this guy now. Uh, I actually might not even have to pull him back. I might just dominate him right this moment. Oh, nope. That's why I should have pulled him back. Great. Maybe I can just kill him and ignore this guy. Oh, there's more guys on me. Okay, there are some hearts over there. I guess I can go for the hearts. This mind flay is seppuku worthy, by the way, in real life. I'm not even talking about in-game. All I want for Christmas is to not have these little things from the sky kill me. Like, I, as long as I live. I really feel griefed right now by this boss. Like, the mind flay feels like I'm getting griefed in high risk by somebody that's just, like, mean. I, I interrupted that summons. I just saw it at the last second. I just don't want to deal with that shit right now. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you, dudes. I just don't want to deal with that shit right now. That's Let's go for the triple. Let's go for the triple temporal anomaly. Chaos bolt. Interrupt that shit. Get out of my face. And yeah, boom. All right, Gucci Raw. Let's go for Gucci Raw now. First time in my life that he's been worth my time to kill because he drops a shit item in the actual regular dungeon. And you can skip him. Now we're gonna go for as much damage as we can, popping literally everything. I did get a trinket from one of those Mana Storm caches that just gives me a bunch of crit. It's actually pretty sleeper in that regard because I get the ignite procs off the crits, right? Uh, crap coming from the sky to make the boss fight not boring. I, I guess in this regard, this is like the first time I've encountered the arrows, and it felt like a solid mechanic. Like, typically you're just like in the middle of the craziest pull, like five portals just spawned, you haven't been able to breathe yet, and then the arrows fall from the sky and you just randomly die in a tight corner. Like, I'm just saying, bro. But this, that was actually fun. Like, I like that. I had to think. I'm low on HP. I am gonna go for a heal. It worked out nicely. Ah, uh, Fire Blast dead. Nice. Now, I also got Soul Leech 3 out of 3 as well. It's stuff like this that makes me wonder if the build is worth pursuing, right? Because Soul Leech 3 out of 3 means I heal off the ca- Oh my god, the portal, dude. No fun allowed is what uh, Ascension said to me on this day. They said, oh, McDoubles was enjoying this and he thought he was gonna get a good run with some solid boss encounters. No fun today! As this dude bone storms towards me. <laughs> Look, Ascension's like, exactly, bro. Speak up again, see what happens. I will so quickly have this dude clap you out of the stratosphere, man. No, I think we're gonna win. We're gonna 3x Temporal Anomaly into the Shadow Flame. Then I'm gonna Fire Blast. I got an Ignite proc. I am then gonna Fire Ball. I like to fire my balls at this guy, and this should be a big Fire Blast. It was, it was a 4k, and he's dead. Nice. One more, and we can save at 125, right? No, not the Gazrilla one. What the hell, Ascension? It's the worst one! The worst track! Hardcore 44 died on the first pull. Fuck, bro. That's actually just wrong, man. I'm sorry. 11 minutes later. So what happened is I had a lapse of judgment. I AFK'd to edit, and I was in the very back of the dungeon. I, I, I guess a portal spawned. Like, that's what I'm saying. Let me chill for one moment. And now I have to redo every level again. Listen, guys, I think we're going to have to end the video right here. And so I think we either have to re-roll and find something more fun for us, maybe a melee build or what. But the goal is to get on that leaderboard ultimately. And uh, hopefully you guys don't push that minimum on the leaderboard too crazy. <laughs> Not going to lie. Uh, we'll see what we could do, though. So I did already do one giveaway immediately after my last video just so I could, you know, mail the stuff, uh, knowing that this video is going to take a little bit longer to do to the guy that won ASAP. But the point is, I think, guys, what I'm going to do is pick two two more winners so I can get more of the giveaway stuff out and so I can show you who I just randomly rolled right now and you can see Horshore Dean currently struggling through the worst part of every season the first one to 60. Grats on 60k thank you guys yeah I did actually get 60k after my last video which means I made it to 60k before the end of the year and that made me happy guys like there you go so Dodgner you're gonna be getting something for sure. Okay, what else do we have? Pick a winner. There we go. Simply gay. Ascension to me is torn between a good game to play with friends who can't or won't get WoW and a chore. And I can't tell if I love it or hate it. I have to admit though, I'm a huge fan of the game and the concepts and always love my content. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. And I just always feel behind no matter how much or how hard I play LMAO. Hex heals. Even though you trolled me a bit with this name, I have to say, that's actually pretty accurate to how I feel. With that being said though, Celestial Observer's Supporter Pack for Dodgner, the first guy that won. Grats, my friend. And now to you, Hex Heals. Congratulations, my friend. Hope you enjoy. As always, leave your in-game name in the comment section below. I will pick giveaway winners in the next couple days. So even if the video doesn't come out, I will mail the stuff out to you guys ASAP. Just need your in-game name on a loon, and you'll have a chance of winning. Damn, Orgrimmar's so laggy now. But anyway, guys, that's gonna
going to be the end of the video. I just want to say major thanks to all the members on my channel. I love and appreciate you guys. More videos coming up. I know Dust Caven has to have some stuff coming soon. I know Koa has some news coming soon. And then we've always got Classless WoW that we could try new stuff on and progress. And we have that goal. I think we'll just say it's a goal at this point of getting to the leaderboard for Mana Storm. I think the Mana Storm is like the coolest and most enjoyable thing that we could try to progress in. But we need a good build. So we'll continue that in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed though. I'll see all of you on the next one. Like and sub. And McDouble's out.